Whoopam! It is actual morning and I haven't been up this early in a long ass time. So yeah, what's up everyone? So basically it's that time of the year where I take out my car from the barn. Well, it's technically a garage, but barn sounds better for the video. And it kind of looks like a barn as well. It's very tight and like not too garage looking like, but... Alright, so while the eggs are cooking, which is going to be my breakfast, I don't really want to make anything else. I'll run down the plan of the day. So it's very simple. We start off with this BMX bike here. So I'm going to take this bike to the goddamn uh, train station, which I actually haven't ridden ever since I got my driver's license, I think, or like any public transport overall. Then after that, or actually before that, there's a few essentials I got to take, which one of them is this um, uh, iPhone jack that fucking transforms. And then we have a lot of dog snackies because it's my dog's fifth birthday today. So happy birthday to Buffy. So my girlfriend gets some of these snackies and I get the toys. Then after taking my bike to the train station, I'm going to ride it to my mom's place. And since she's at work, I'll just be alone and I'll be filming uh, all the process of what I'm doing to the car, which is basically just, you know, simple shit, just washing it, putting in the battery, um, that's kind of about it. I'm really hoping there's not anything major that's not gonna let the car run. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I also paid for the motherfucking... I don't know what's, uh, what is it called in English, but it's got an autocles in Latvian. And I still need to pay for insurance, but insurance is hella fucking expensive for my car. So I asked my mom to contact one of my dad's friends, which can get me like insurance for half the cost. My grandma's a scammer. Cute. And then after that, hopefully I'll be done by 2 p.m. Because I need to pick up my girlfriend. She has her uh, internship at her uni at 2 p.m. I gotta somehow pick her up, so hopefully everything's gonna be fine. My train is at 11, I'll be there at half past 11, so I have around two and a half hours to do everything, which sounds pretty unrealistic, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so everything is put in the bag, as you can see, um, except one pretty important thing. The best water in Latvia, dude, ever. My favorite carbonated water. So we throw that shit in there, sh shit in there as well. Oh, and also, dude, yesterday I bought this fucking piece of shit, dude. Y'all probably fucking zoomers smoking this shit every day. Six euros, waste of money. Tastes pretty good, but kind of useless, so... Yeah. That's about it. I'm gonna get ready. Gonna... Throw my bike down the fucking sixth floor and we'll roll to the to the train station. Oh yeah, just so you know, I went to sleep at like 4.50 a.m. Because um, I was editing Zipple's video and right now it's 10.43 and my train is at 11.09. So I have some time to work with. Anyways, that was my attempt of being uh, Casey Neistat. I gotta go to the train station real fucking fast now, so I'll catch you there. We're here. Okay, the hard part of getting up, of vlogging, and getting to the train is done, so now it should be pretty easy and chill. And just like that, I've made it from the ghetto to the goddamn white neighborhood. Well, I have officially made it to my mom's place. And before I go check out the car, let's check out the birthday girl. Where is she? Buffy! Bye-bye! Hi! Aww. She was sleeping. She was sleeping? Ew. Ew. Well, <coughs> yeah, mom, mom, mom's not here. Mom's not here. It's just me. Happy birthday! So, yeah, I'll let her out and we'll do the big car wheel. Whoa. Well, there she is. 
that taggy man it's so dusty you can't probably see it but it's like hella dusty there's that beautiful back of the car man god damn it's kind of sad you know doing this by myself because you know I was looking forward to doing this with my dad but you know it is what it is um yeah now I just gotta somehow get back here there it is man look at this fucking beauty god I hope everything works perfectly like it was when I left it here oh this shit's so dusty man <clears throat> You can call it dust too, man. God damn. Wish I had a fish eye lens, dude. There it is, man. I'm gonna get the fuck in. I think it's open already. Oh, yeah. This shit's open. There, I need to place the battery. And... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, I'll be needing to get new filters. I need to change this one. And also... Where's the other one? This little one. So... I might hit up my homie so he maybe orders these and then I just go to his place and we can make another vlog or something replacing my filters and maybe some other stuff. Uh, the oil, I think the oil is fine because uh, we changed it right before I put it to sleep in this little garage. I think everything should be fine except the electrics are probably fucked again like the windshield wipers and maybe maybe th these lights here might not work because you can see there's a little uh yeah since we try to get it past inspection and the lights were not working uh yeah we just did a little tape job here so we can get through it real fast but the lights kind of sometimes not work when the the contact moves a bit so we'll have to fix that somehow <clears throat> i'll have to figure that out since i don't have my dad now i'll have to just um you know just look up on Google. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, I'll go get the battery and we'll get it in and let's see if we can get it running, dude. So there we got our brand new battery. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, the reason why I don't have batteries because my mom actually took my battery because if it was just sitting here during the winter, it probably would have just been dead. So she was just using it. And instead she just bought me a new one. So yeah, we'll put it in now. God, no! All right. <clears throat> battery is inside um i'll probably tighten it up a bit later but let's see if if the car is running let's see if the car is running well fuck man everything was working pretty fine but i think i actually the fuses the fuses might have actually uh, cracked, so now I have to go check all the fucking fuses, but one by one. Okay, got the juice here. But uh, as I was looking for these, I came back and the radio is like uh, on again. So I don't know, I'll try turning it on again. We'll see what happens. Oh, come on, please just start up, man. Baby, it works, it fucking works. God, you'll love to see that, man. I just had to wait for the battery to, I don't know. All right, well, now that it works, I guess I'll uh, back off and, and just in case something happens, I can just uh, access everything a bit easier because it's a bit tight here, as you can see. So I'll just place the camera down a bit. Look at the goddamn smoke, man. Look at the goddamn smoke. Electric cars suck my fucking dick, man. I ain't never driving a fucking electric car. Let's fucking pollute the world together, man. Works, it moves, fucking beautiful, man. God, I love this car. This car means a bit more than just a car to me, by the way. Cause uh, this is kind of the only thing that my dad left me, dude. So 
I'm gonna take care of this, man. We're gonna, we're gonna make this shit beautiful, man, I swear. Alright, I think it's uh, time to clean it up, potentially. There's a bit of dust, you can finally see it in the sun now. Everything is nice. Even the, the inside doesn't even need that much cleaning, honestly. It's kinda, kinda chilling. I mean, I'll still go over everything, but... It's not bad, man, it's not bad, so... As you can see, I need to pour in a bit of... Uh, come on, bitch. There it is. Uh, need to pour in a bit of gas, you know, we, we, we had a gas here. I'll turn it off now, I'll probably set up some uh, angles, clean the car and we'll make it beautiful, man. Holy shit, man, yeah, there's still a lot of things to do. Also, I need, there's a fucking hole in the goddamn engine, by the way, if you didn't know. For now, I'll lay down the camera, I'll go get some, some cleaning tools and we'll clean the ship by hand, alright? We don't go to some goddamn washing place, we... Hey man, as my dad said once, uh, what did he say? I don't know. I don't know what he said, but he said that you just gotta love your car, man. And if you love your car, you gotta wash it by your hand, you know? You gotta feel the every little fucking brush, not just with a fucking hose, man. And then the fucking paint is fucked. So, yeah, anyways, I'll see you in a bit. All right, first, we just gotta wet it up a bit, and hopefully the, the motherfucking... What is it called? Sand comes off as well. Alright. Now I need more water. Apparently there's no sponge, so I'll have to use a fucking towel, which is kind of weird, but... Um, it is what it is, man. <laughs> okay, from this distance it looks a bit better, but... Yeah, it's not good. I think... It's just kind of hard without fucking hose, man, when I have to run to the fucking house, fill up the bucket with fresh water, then it's already fucking dirty after the first wash, and it's just a bit fucking, a bit unfortunate, a bit time consuming, I would say. As my dad would say, so, yeah, it's uh, not too good right now. So I actually ended up finding a sponge. There it is. It's a little hand sponge. It was way better than the fucking towel. Uh, and yeah, I think I did pretty, pretty decent job, you know. Uh, knowing how limited I was with all the stuff, it's looking way, way better now, way cleaner. Um, so yeah, now I will just uh, fuel it up because I have to go pick up my girlfriend right now. So I'll take this little, little doggy little Buffy. I'll take her with me and I'll go pick up my girlfriend and then we'll come back here and then I'll probably be polishing my fucking car with this thing right here with the little go over it and it's gonna be all shiny and beautiful and all fucking done by hand so yeah I'll go pour in the gas man we got like five liters here not much but it'll get us to to the girlfriend There we go. We got the we get the five five liters of benzene, man. Benzene, very nice, very nice. Okay, I'll actually clean it up a bit. One sec. All right, Mrs. Doggy, you are gonna sit inside now. Okay, dog is inside. Okay. All right, we got the gates open. The doggo is waiting inside. Yo, you gotta take the wheel. Anyways. I'll see you when I meet my girlfriend, so yeah, adios. We're ready for war, bitch, let's go. Well, my car just fucking stalled and couldn't turn it on. Literally at that fucking red light there. So I had to go from fucking literally there to here and yeah, my girlfriend's here as so well, she helped a bit. Whew. Okay, and now I hope that we just get home safe without any more stalling. Fuck me, dude. I feel like something's with the, the battery. Man, I might have an, I fucking, I, I have an idea what could be the problem. I think I didn't, uh, yeah, I'm retarded. I didn't uh, lock up the fucking battery, basically. So it's kind of just wonking around. So maybe it disconnects and I can't turn on the car. So yeah, that's my fault. I'll probably fix it. All right, so the problem was, I'm pretty sure, the battery. Remember when I put it in? Battery is inside. I'll probably tighten it up a bit. Later. I never tightened up the fucking things, man. So 
as my fucking car moves over the the goddamn holes in the road in Latvia, man, which are absolutely fucked the roads. It was just bouncing around and uh, that's how, yeah, that's how my fucking car went out, dude. It stalled, well not stalled, what was the fucking word? Uh, yeah, just basically stopped and then I had to push it, but yeah, I'll tighten up the shit and this is probably the last, uh, last clip of the day, unless we do something fun, I don't know, maybe go to park, maybe we go eat somewhere, something like that, so maybe vlog that for, for extra content, but uh, yeah, that's, that's it for the car stuff. Adios. Bye bye. Bye bye. Alright boys, so the battery was the easy part, the hard part now is I'll insert two clips from which one of them is uh, the place that I showed you earlier, there's a hole right there, and while I was filming this part, my girlfriend was sitting down and she was like, yo, there's something uh, leaking on the bottom, so I found out that there was a little bit of a gas leakage on the bottom of the car, so yeah, I'll insert that clip over me talking right now as well, so that's fucking awesome, dude. Can't wait to spend some more money on uh, on fixing this old beautiful car, man. So yeah, I'll, uh, th th this is definitely now it for the car vlog. I'll see you in the next time. Bye bye. All right, as you can see, it's going back to sleep. So yeah, we'll be back here next week. I don't know if I'll vlog it or not, but I'll be back here next week. So yeah, now we're going to the skate park. <laughs> Okay, we're at the park. My girlfriend will film a quick clip and we'll go to the train station. Okay, we're done going to the train station. Hopefully we'll make it. Anyways, I am home. I've been home for a while now. I was in the shower and everything. So yeah, hopefully the vlog was good and enjoyable. I'm not sure how it was. I still haven't started editing it. Overall, the day was pretty good. But in conclusion, I don't know. It's pretty, pretty fucking sad, not gonna lie. I had to re-record this fucking outro plenty of times because I got a bit sad, but just, uh, a lot of things done today that I know that my dad would have been proud of, but uh, yeah, I can't, I can't share them with him, unfortunately, which, you know, it doesn't hurt, but it just gives me no satisfaction, I guess, just, you know, no emotions, I just do it for myself, which is, I don't know, you probably feel me, I bet a lot of you watching this are doing a lot of things for either your parents or friends or someone and it feels way better than doing something for yourself. Because for me personally, I know that there's never going to be anyone like him that can replace him. The, you know, like the feeling of approval that I get for doing something good or something, I don't know, that he's proud of. So it just kind of sucks. So yeah, in conclusion, if you have a parent that you do something with, like, I don't know, sports or cars or art, whatever, just enjoy it, you know, because... Once that time comes, which hopefully doesn't come soon for you watching, um, it just sucks, man. It's really fucking sad. But, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Once again, thanks for watching. If you like this type of, I don't know, content, me vlogging, because I kind of can't push myself to do some CSGO videos. I feel like they're very stale on YouTube nowadays. Uh, so, yeah, if you enjoy the vlogs, let me know. I'll do more of them. I'll think of some fun things to do and film with... Yeah, I don't know, either with my homie or something, or my girlfriend, let me know in the comments. Have a good day, see you next time, adios.